I am truly grateful to have had the pleasure of reading this personal essay of someone graduating high school and going into college. And I'd really like to read it to you now just because it resonated with me on all levels. And I wanted to see if it resonated with you too. Here it goes. It seems funny looking back now from the lofty perch of a graduating senior and finding pertinence in a fairy tale from long ago. As I try to put my thoughts together about my personal qualities and aspirations, the story of the ugly duckling comes to mind. The inexperienced little duckling was not quite aware of his significant beauty, but as he began to mature, it became more evident that he possessed the strength and self-assurance that one needed to be special. When he was young, he believed that there was only one group of ducklings, and since he was insignificant to them, he would always be worthless and objectionable. Little did he know that there were many others who not only felt as he did, but also recognized his difference as a strength. It was not long after that, that he discovered this other group and was made aware of the beauty of his individuality. He was most comfortable with them, but had learned to respect that same beauty in all, whether they resembled him or not, and gave them the support and encouragement they needed to feel important. Furthermore, he was no longer an ugly duck. He had grown to become a beautiful swan with tremendous qualities and gifts. Just as the ugly duckling grew to discover his special talents and appreciate the differences he encountered in others, I also feel I have grown to recognize my true self. Age. When I first moved to Connecticut eight years ago, I thought I had to be part of a certain clique in order to be popular and accepted. I realized that this was not only uncomfortable, but also hurtful to myself and others. I didn't feel that anyone should be limited to associating with only one group of people. Therefore, believing in myself, I made an effort to be outgoing and friendly toward everyone. Life isn't a popularity contest. I want to be supportive of others. Like the ugly duckling, I feel I have grown to become a beautiful swan. My physical appearance is not my main interest. The beauty of which I speak comes from within, knowing who I am, liking myself, and liking others as they are. This combined with the gifts of organization, personability, responsibility, and a respect for individuality has put me in a leadership role many times. It takes more than popularity to be a good leader, and a position of leadership is not always glamorous or easily defined. Whether it is an elected official, the head of a committee, or simply standing up to represent the views of my peers or my own beliefs, I feel that others have the confidence in me to act in their best interest. I have learned a great deal because of this opportunity, but I know there is so much more for me to experience. Like that little duckling, I want to continue to grow even more beautiful and in turn, help other people to grow and appreciate their beauty as I have. <laughs> Does that melt your heart? I had to share that with you because it touched me at a very deep level. And I would love to know how you feel about that. That's what leaders are made of. They go through difficult times in their life and those difficult times transform them into something that they could have never imagined. And they end up making a huge difference in the world. So no matter how insignificant you feel right now, you're a beautiful, beautiful person. You have so much to offer the world. You just have to open your eyes and trust yourself and believe in you. It is all within you. Even if other people can't see it in you, you have to trust that it's there. I believe in you. I appreciate you. And I want to acknowledge you for being who you are in this world and for just sharing your love with others. Anyway, thank you. Take care.